All right, what's up, guys? We're back with another one here. So today we had a lot of good news, right? We had a CEO just happened. We had some really, really good news. Of course, I'm talking about Blaze Blue. You know, Blaze were here. Rollback netcode. Everyone, people were crying. They were crying. Everyone, tears of joy. They couldn't believe it. Yes, everyone's favorite series got what it wanted. Rollback, but not not all good news, right? It's not all good news. We got some some pretty bad news as well. What am I talking about? There she is, right there. Yes. You got your wish, Biken fans. Biken has been announced for Guild of Gear Strive. Now, see, I'm not upset because we knew it was coming, right? Eventually, Biken's going to get added to the game. I, I thought I'd have a little bit more time. I thought I was going to have a little bit more time to enjoy Guild of Gear Strive. But was it January? I only have one more month left to enjoy this game before I got to drop it. Because Biken is here to kill Guild of Gear Strive. It's very funny. Hold on, let me, wait, where's, my, where's my boy Max at? It's just funny watching the reaction. So, Max, I saw, I saw this on Twitter. It's just like the reactions of everybody. Like, Max... It's like you play Biken. If you're a Biken fan, you look like Max right here. You're like, let's go. If you fight against Biken, everyone, it was a like collective sigh. Everyone was like, oh my God. Come on. Nobody likes fighting Biken. Let's watch this trailer. It's very, very short. Let's watch it. And then if you're a new friend, if you're a new uh, a Guilty Gear friend, or even if not, uh, let me just tell you why we hate Biken. But yeah, like always, hit that subscribe button before we get into it. Year's almost over. The 100K dream, probably dead. Or 2021, but who knows? Maybe next year. We'll, we'll try harder. But anyway, let's, let's check it out. Right off the bat, you don't know who it is, right? Stage looks sick, by the way. Right there, okay. So immediately, right here, it's Biking. I feel like if you're a true, a true OG Guilty Gear fan, you're like, Biking. Immediately, you know this. But no one in the crowd knew that. No, the crowd was silent. There was like two dudes that got hyped. No, maybe everyone just was upset. Everyone was like, who is it? Who is it? It's like, it's Biking, you dummies. There she is. They didn't recognize that they saw her, her feet. She barely changed, huh? I think her boobs got bigger, though. She looks good. <laughs> Hold on. All right, we'll go back. But then she talks at the end here. I have no idea who this is. Got to play the story. Late January. Don't worry, Delilah. Dajub. Delilah is apparently Bedman's sister. It's Bedman's sister. I don't know what they're like friends now or something. But uh, yes, Biken is added here. We don't get to see any gameplay. We get to see the stage, which looks godlike. The stage looks godlike. The stages in Strive already look really good. But her design, you get a little sneak peek. Where's the clearest shot? Maybe like right there is like the clearest shot. She looks very, her hair got puffier in the back. But her design looks very, very similar. You know, a lot of characters got some big changes, which are all pretty good. But she looks very, very similar, which is, you know, that, that's cool, too. Her boobs got bigger, though, definitely. They're going all they're going all in, huh? They're appealing to the biking fans. They'll do whatever it takes, man. But I guess she's she's too precious of a, a character, right? That's like their girl. Every Guilty Gear collab and all the collab videos we do, it's always biking, right? She is the star. I don't know how. She is the star of, the, uh, of Guilty Gear. So I guess they don't want to change it too much, right? They can't make her too different. They can't ruin a... a like, their, their perfect design. That's funny, though, because Biken, by the way, all you kids, she was never the star. She was just a bum side character until Exert came out. And they're like, you know what? Let's turn her from, like, a badass, quiet samurai to, like, this is this is number one waifu bait of all time. That Exert design, whoever, that guy better got promoted. He's the actual guy who saved Guilty Gear. But, yes, there you go. The most the most popular character that we knew was getting added. We knew she was getting added. She She's the fourth DLC character pretty surprising I think a lot of people thought it was next next season here but whatever I'm ready we're ready I've been bracing myself since before the game came out so just a real quick explanation I'm not going to demonstrate it in game but why do we hate this character as I showed you earlier here so this is the original biking uh that little backstab move so what makes this character so goddamn annoying is this move doesn't look like much but her design was that she could attack out of block stun so if you if you just pause and think about it like wait what that doesn't make any sense. You know, a fighting game is very simple. You know, I attack you, you block, it's my turn. When I'm not attacking, we both can, you know, we're both playing neutral until one of us gets the attack and the other guy's blocking disadvantage. But not her, right? When she's blocking, she just attacks. She's like, I don't care, man. Yeah, I lost neutral. Yeah, I'm blocking, but I'm going to attack you anyway. So she was super, super obnoxious in uh, the old versions. Top tier and plus are absolute disaster to fight. So in Exerd, they were like, all right, that was a pretty stupid mechanic. Let's change it into this, which is just as annoying. It's not as busted, but this is just as annoying. So she has like auto auto guard points here. Where she got Susan on as well. Bring, bring. So these uh, are guard points. She goes in this stance right now, which is like instant. If you hit her sword, she just absorbs your attack and just counters you right away. 
Think of it like Leo's Leo's shield counter, except you can do whatever she wants. With one button, it only takes one button right there. And again, it all leads to uh to big damage and everything. But pain in the ass character to fight. But it's not just that. You gotta remember, this is uh her her famous, her famous line. It's not just on defense and everything. This goddamn move. I don't know what the hell you want to call this. A projectile? How do you describe this move? A win a win neutral? I, I want a win neutral right now. A keep away tool? Is it a keep away tool? Is it a mix up tool? It's literally the one option that does everything. It's insane. This move is so stupid. Air dash back to Tommy Gaishi. Air dash into Tommy Gaishi. Staying on the ground, just do it. So she stomps the ground, except she's in the air. How can she do it in the air? How can you stomp the ground if you're in the air? Daisuke. You think about it, it doesn't make any damn sense. But. She stomps the ground. The time he comes out, and it's just a big fat hitbox. It just covers the screen. You can't. You just gotta like, please, please get away from me. It's the worst, man. But this character sucks. The Jacko, Jacko. Remember when Jacko came out? I was like, man, Jacko is nobody likes fighting Jacko. The thing about Jacko is like she's pretty, she's pretty weak. She wasn't the strongest character, so it was like, all right, we hate fighting her, but it's not that bad. Biking is strong. You hate fighting her, and she kicks your ass. It's the, it's the worst. It's the worst. And now she's back in Strive. So what are they going to do? They're going to do something. They're going to do something to change her. I think her guard point stuff is going to get reworked somehow. I don't know what it's going to be. But this isn't getting changed. This is her iconic move. They're definitely, keep, they're definitely keeping this in one way or the other. And she's going to be mad easy. I'm telling you. So the DLC characters. Gold Lewis, bit technical right there. Jacko, very hard. Happy Cast, even harder. There's no way they make biking hard to play. She's gonna be ultimate gorilla. Everyone on net plays gonna be biking. It's gonna be the same thing I saw with Grand Blue. When Grand Blue put out Narmaya, that was it. 80% of the matches Narmaya. It stayed like that till the game was over. Just everybody's Narmaya. Is Strive gonna be like that too? People joke about, you know, biking players don't play biking and everything, but there are a lot of biking players. They're not good, but there's a lot of people playing biking. Is this is this the future Strive? It's here, man. I don't know. We'll see. But yes, yeah, the late January, so next month she's coming out. I was ready, so I'm not upset. I'm not, I'm not upset I was ready, but there's still one character that he absolutely cannot bring back. You know, Jacko I can handle. Bike and I can handle. This one right here, if this one comes back, that's it. Do not need a uh, playing against this character in 2022 next year. Don't do it. Don't, don't do it, Daisuke. Don't do it. But yeah, there you go. Of course, just a little preview. She got announced. Congratulations, Biking fan. Apologies to all, every Guild of Gear player. But uh, when we get more information, of course, I'll be, we'll doing some breakdowns in the future. I'll give her a try. I don't know. That's it. We just, just got to cover the news because it's out. But dang, dang. I hate that character, man. We'll see. But anyway, let me know what you think. Are you excited? Are you one of the legendary biking players? Are you the guys that actually play the character? Or are you on my side? You fight against her. You're miserable. I don't know. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Congratulations, Max. How come I can't feel like that? How come I can't smile like that? What would, what would make me smile like that? Holy Order Soul? I need Ho. I, I got Leo. Leo is my... Even though I don't play Leo, I got my boys. So I was hyped. Put Ho's back in and I'll smile like that. But yeah, let me know. Like always, leave a comment on good stuff, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.